Hi, everybody. She's back. <laughs> Welcome back to Prayer for Pause with the Pastor, version 2.0. For those of you who haven't watched before, Prayer for Pause was a series that I started during COVID, and it ran every day, Monday through Friday, with only a couple of exceptions. We didn't miss many weeks at all for about two years. And then I needed a break. Uh, I needed a pause from the prayerful pause. I had thought that I would not re be rejuvenating prayerful pause, but that I would be initiating something that you will see tomorrow, which is Q&A for today. And I think there is a need for Q&A for today, but I need the prayerful pause as well. And so you saw the new opening, and uh, but it's the same old pantry office and the same old chair that slides when you don't want it to, and sooner or later, Zara Moon, our, the cat, will come uh, zipping through here. Some of you have watched her grow up in the videos. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the idea for Prayerful Pause with the Pastor is that we take a few minutes out of our day to look around us with new eyes and to pause in what we are doing to connect with something greater than ourselves. Um, I call it God, but you can call it whatever you want to call it, and um, that we kind of delve into the spirit a little more. I, As I started to say, I think um, Q&A for today I had thought would replace this. Then I realized as I was recording some of those Q&A things that they are very left brain, aren't they? They're really, um, when we have questions and answers, it's coming from a place of logic, uh, wanting information. And that the spirit, the prayerful pause, is very right-brained. So I invite you to watch both. I won't be doing five days of both of those in a week. Some weeks it might be all prayerful pause. Some day, some weeks it might be, you know, three quarters Q&A for today. It's wherever the spirit takes us and however it moves me. Often I will be recording... Um, uh, all of the uh, episodes that are going to air that week, um, re recording them the same day, and um, I won't be quite as vigilant about trying to change my hats or making it look different like it's a different day. Just, you know, we're all grown-ups. We know I'm recording these sometimes on the same day. Today, I'm off to a presbytery meeting. That's a group of Presbyterian churches in a geographical area. In our area, it's called the Genesee Valley, Presbytery, Presbytery of Genesee Valley. And um, uh, there are 56 churches over a five-county area. Why do I bring that up, prayerful pause? Because it's been two or three years since I've gathered with people since COVID. And... We really took it for granted, I think, for decades. Um, ministers and ordained elders from churches would gather, sometimes once a month, and we went to less frequently. And ultimately, over the last few years, uh, we've recognized the benefit of gathering online because people then don't have to travel. Traditionally, the uh, various churches would host a presbytery meeting and it would circulate throughout the presbytery and we got to see each other's churches. But um, I think many of us have found that what we preach is true, that building community is more important than anything else we do, being connected to others who believe as we do. Now, I know that, and that's why I wanted to talk about it today in Prayerful Pause of the Pastor, I know that some of you are avid, faithful churchgoers, and some others who watch this, maybe not so much, especially since COVID. It's been really hard uh, for some people who want to watch, want to connect, but are fearful still uh, in different communities where maybe they just don't have uh, the confidence in their medical systems or uh, in their fellow citizens to not spread any kind of disease. And so they want to stay home or people have discovered the comfort of worshiping from home. Uh, not a bad thing. We continue to do our worship services on YouTube. Um, South Church Rochester is our uh, channel there. And we do a worship service every week uh, that's pre-recorded. 
so many of you from around the country are e-worship leaders, and we thank you for that. But uh, there are others who don't connect in any way. And, uh, and now especially, I think, is a time for us to plug in our connections. Not just plug in online, although we can, but to plug in with each other heart to heart. And that doesn't matter if you're in person or you're online. <clears throat> I am part of a Thursday evening prayer group that plugs in heart to heart online. So um, I'll leave that up to you. But it's the heart plugging that I'm talking about. We have to find ways to plug our hearts into some sort of source. And while God is the source, that God energy and that um, circuitry also includes each other. So today I want you to think about how do you connect your heart to other people, heart to heart can be by text. My seminary roommate and I text each other frequently and we say things like heart to heart, song to song, soul to soul, prayer to prayer. That's Those are the ways that we connect after uh, 40 years almost. Um, <clears throat> unless we're thinking about that, we might not be intentional about it. We wouldn't be doing it perhaps naturally, because of how COVID has changed our lives. It's interesting, as I was reflecting on Prayerful Pause with the Pastor, one of the, the first broadcasts I did was about the Purell of prayer. Yes, Purell, Purell prayer, I think it was called, or praying with Purell, something like that. And, <clears throat> excuse me, it talked about how every time we uh, disinfect our hands, we should be saying a prayer. Um, I still stand by that, by the way. However, I think that now it's really time for us as we are reconnecting with others to intentionally think about our heart connection, heart to heart. That will energize us. It will connect us to God. It will connect us to ourselves and it will help the healing. So I'm off to do that today with my Presbytery colleagues and friends. I encourage you to do that sometime this, this week, in the next few days, intentionally reach out heart to heart with someone and let the love and the healing and the light and God flow. That's it for today. Thanks for watching Prayerful Pause of the Pastor. I'm Pastor Deb Swift of South Presbyterian Church in Rochester, New York. And until next time, God bless. Take care and bye for now.